Fitting the stern lanterns. Before rigging the mizzen booms, add the stern lanterns assembled in stage 94. Start with the grand lantern. Drill a hole just below the centre of the stern decoration. Use a 1mm bit and angle the drill upwards to match the angle of the lantern support rod. Fix the lantern in place with superglue. Cut 60mm from the leftover 0.5mm brass wire and bend it to a V hook. Hook the apex of the V around the top of the support rod below the base of the lantern then glue it into place. Add V shaped stays to the smaller lanterns using the same method. You can now attach the mizzen driver and gaff booms, which are assembled in stage 81. Start by fitting four eye bolts to the taff rail as shown. Position a 0.6mm drill at the front of the capping strip and carefully drill vertically down with care. Fit two 4mm single blocks to each of the outboard eye bolts and a double block to the brass wire that runs between the knees in the centre. the driver boom and carefully drill an angled 0.6mm hole in each side of the jaw. Do this very carefully so you do not split the tips of the jaws. Thread some 0.25mm natural thread through one of the holes and around the mast. Be careful not to trap rigging lines between this thread. Feed the free end through the hole in the other jaw, slipping six glass beads onto the thread as you do so. Ease the boom back from the mast to give your room to tighten a knot in the end. Pull the thread back through the jaws until the knot is resting against the jaw and the boom is resting up against the mast in the position shown. Then cut the thread and secure the end with another knot to pull tight up to the jaw.
Repeat the previous steps with the gaff boom, but this time thread seven black beads onto the parallel rope before threading it through the second jaw. Add the throat halyard that supports the gaff boom. Cut a 500mm length of 0.25mm thread and tie it to the block below the mizzen top. Feed it through the double block on the boom, then through the block on the mizzen top, through the block on the yard and then the top again and leave the end hanging down the port side of the model. Add the peak halyard. Tie 900mm of thread to tip of the gaff boom, then feed it through the double block below the mizzen mast cap, through the single block on the boom and back through the double block. Leave it hanging down the right side of the model. Tie 300mm of thread to the block on the driver boom. Loosely thread it through the double block attached to the knees to form the boom stop. It is shown pull taut for clarity in your instructions. Feed the clue line on corner B through the end hole in the boom and then through the rectangular bracket on the boom. Adjust all the lines until the same boom hangs neatly. the bob stays. Using a 1mm drill bit, drill two horizontal holes across the wood between the bowsprit and the jib boom. Fit two brass eye bolts to the hole in the position shown. Note how the eyes are angled up slightly, repeat this on the other side of your model. four double blocks supplied in stage 96 and tie them with 0.5mm brown thread leaving 60mm tails on each end. Take three 5mm single blocks and tie them with 0.5mm brown threads leaving 100mm tails on each end. Now tie the four double blocks around the bowsprit so that the blocks end up lying between the middle and lower rows of brackets. Fit two just below the jib boom binding using a blunt needle to feed the thread between the binding and the base of the jib boom. Fit two through the hole drilled in step one, 
nearest the hull. Do not over tighten the knots and do not seal them at this stage. Prepare the first bob stay by binding a double block on the end of a 350mm length of 0.8mm black thread. Add a 250mm length of 0.25mm natural thread to make the lashing. Use your 30mm rigging jig to hook the block to the lower block on the port side of the bowsprit. Take the thread down to the first eye bolt and tie it off under a light tension. Repeat step 6 to 9 in your instructions to rig a second bob stay from the forward block to the eye bolt immediately behind the one in step 8 of your instructions. Then repeat the process on the other side of the model. You can now seal them and trim the threads from step 5 in your instructions. Take the three single blocks prepared in step 4 and tie them around the bowsprit so that they hang vertically downward. The lowest one goes through the second hole drilled in step 1. The other two are fitted just in front of the tabs. You can seal and trim these blocks now. Taking one of the two shorter stays, use your 30mm rigging jig to hook the block to the lowest of the three blocks from step 11. Tie the thread around the upper hole in the stern, leaving some slack. Lash the blocks together, but do not seal the bindings yet, so you can remove the stays later. Repeat this with the second shorter stay, running it from the second block to the middle hole in the stern. Starting on the port side, hook the double block to the block on the night head using your wire jig rig. Feed the ends of both threads through the upper eye on the bowsprit, then feed the threads through the upper two holes on the dolphin striker. Now tie the two threads off to the end of the jib boom. One thread is fitted just above the lower binding and the second is fitted just behind the jib boom iron. Now lash the block using the technique described in stage 99. Preparing the sprit sails. Take the sprit sail yard and use 0.25mm natural threads to tie the foot ropes, known as horses. Start by tying the thread next to the second rope band from the right on the centre section, then feed the thread back to the left through the two brass foot rope supports and finally tie it off at the end of the yard. 
The thread can either be pulled tight or left a little slack. Repeat the process to make the starboard horse try to get the same amount of slack on both sides. The topsail yard horses are tied at the ends of the centre section and the opposite tips. Try to match the slack on both sides.